Good evening, I'm Mariah Condiff and for Aaron Baker. Thanks for joining us for the News at 10. This holiday season, East Texas continues to struggle with opioid dependence. But the good news is that regions such as Henderson County have received more than $1 million to fight this crisis. And experts say it's working. Our Sean Delmeniz has the story. Amid an opioid crisis, Researchers say Henderson County has taken major steps toward a healthier community in the past six months. Mindy Robertson, a data coordinator for the East Texas Council on Alcoholism and Drug Abuse, says many remedies were hidden in plain view. The Surgeon General one time I saw him say um, the opioid crisis came in and everyone was mopping up everything. They're just trying to mop up, mop up, and it didn't seem like they could, you know, get it clean or fix it. It just kept, it's because nobody went over and turned off the faucet. Turning off the faucet began by assigning two full-time recovery coaches to Athens and raising awareness in the community through public events. A $1 million grant from the Health Resources and Services Administration catapulted this effort. It sounds like, so long story short, the, the grant is helping. Oh yes, oh yes. We can make steps towards better environments and what we're looking for in communities. And whether those communities are counties or towns or even jails, Henderson County Sheriff Bodie Hillhouse says his team's partnered with Project Hope, a nonprofit to address this crisis from all angles. Most of our people that are incarcerated are uh, unfortunately have some types of substance abuse. The nonprofit holds trainings and gives first responders Narcan to be able to react quickly if they come across an overdose. Hillhouse says there's still work to be done, though, namely with heroin use. What we normally see is they they get uh, basically addicted to some prescription pills and then they, they can't get pills any longer and a lot of times they turn to heroin. Um, so we are seeing and recovering a little more heroin than normal right now. The same successful efforts in Henderson County are catching on next door in Cherokee County as well. Robertson says they're writing their own grant proposal now. In Henderson, Shondell Meniz, CBS 19. Thanks, Shondell. In January, Sheriff Hillhouse says Henderson is planning to kickstart a recruitment program within the jail for inmates who would like to help their kicking their addictions. 